everyone! Today we are going to be writing the song you hear at the end of a Super Mario Brothers level. So when Mario or any of your characters beat a level, you typically hear a song that sounds like this. So today I'm going to walk you guys through step by step how to make this song. At the end of this video you will have this exact writing that you see here on the screen. And when I say exact tutorial, we are going to start right at google.com. If you didn't already know, the Chrome Music Lab is an available website within Google. Google obviously is owned by Chrome or Chrome is owned by Google and this is their Chrome Music Lab. So step one, go to google.com and in the search bar we're searching Chrome Music Lab Song Maker. Click enter and from here for my search, it is the top. It'll say Songmaker Chrome Music Lab. And when you click it, this will open. So I'm going to walk you guys through everything you need to get the Super Mario Brothers theme song ready to go. So the first thing you need to do is click on Settings in the bottom right hand corner. Once you click Settings, there's a few things we need to change in our song so that it sounds just like. Mario. Step one, the length. It needs to be a little bit longer. We're going to set it to six bars of music. And then where it says scale, we're going to make it chromatic. So I clicked where it said major. There's pentatonic and chromatic. You want to start with chromatic. And then you want it to start on middle G, as in George. And then you want the range to be not two octaves, but three. So go ahead and check everything in your settings. Length, six bars. Beats per bar, four. Split into two. Split beats into two. Chromatic scale, starting on middle G, not on C, but G. And the range is three octaves. Once everything looks like this, click the check. We are ready to begin. All right, now that all of our settings are put into place, we're gonna start at the very beginning. Make sure that the bottom tab, you can see how I can move across the song, it is all the way over to the left, and the up and down tab, I guess my vertical tab, is all the way down as well. If everything in settings is correct, your first color should be like the teal dark green. It will look like this. It is a G for everybody here that knows music. Hmm. After you find that, your next column, you need what looks like a red right here. So if I follow up from my G, one, two, three, four, five, this one is six up from the bottom. So I'll get rid of these. Your first two will sound, there they are. The next column, I need a yellow. So I'm gonna go up one, two, three, yellow. So just to reiterate, we have teal. Next column is this pinkish red and then yellow. Now notice that this line here is a little bit thicker. Also notice we have white sections and gray sections. Down below, if you're new to the song maker, we also have drums. We have our beats and our triangles here. We do not need any of these in Mario, but just so you know, in case you come back and write any other songs, you also have the option of adding drums and percussion. We'll also be speeding up our song later, but for right now, let's just leave it right here. Now that you have your first three, our next color is in the very next column. It looks just like this teal, but it's above this thicker blue line, so it's here. So we now have teal, no skips. Next column is this pinkish red. Next column is yellow. Then we have teal. Then we've got to go up again and find that reddish color, that reddish pink. So notice our pattern, teal, pink, yellow, teal, pink. Next, of course, will be yellow right here. Now here's another thick line. Notice that every time we start a thick line, it's always starting with the G because in our settings, we started on middle G. So check all of your colors. If they're correct, your rhythm should sound like this. Check that, go ahead and pause if you need to, but you should have seven colors, which are notes. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. So far we don't have any skips in our columns, but our next note we are going to skip. We're gonna add another yellow, but we're gonna go from our teal, skip, skip, and then where we would skip, we'll go down and add a yellow. So teal, two skipped columns, yellow. See if that's all together, it should sound like. And that is our very first section. Now from the last yellow we put, we're gonna do skip, skip. This column, we're gonna go all the way down. We're gonna find a blue, which is the second from the bottom. Here's our teal, this blue. Just make sure from your last yellow, you've got one skip, two skip, and then the blue that's down here. Our next is going to be that same pinkish red we had before. So you can find it here. There is no skips between the blue and the pinkish red. They just go side by side, column by column. And then after we find that color, our next color is going to be not the yellow we've been using before. We're actually gonna go down one right here. It's like an orangish yellow. So from yellow, I'm sorry, so from the reddish pink, go over. You'll go up one, up two, up three. And it's this one. So it's two above, one column over. We're gonna do that again above this blue line. There's our blue that matches this blue there. Next column, red, and then our orangish red. So far, it should sound like this. Oh, you see, I actually need to move over one column. I'm gonna put this guy over here, this over here, and this here. A lot of the times when you're writing in Song Maker, going back and listening after you add five or six notes just ensures that your rhythm is correct. Now I shouldn't have that pause that I had last time. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and take a second, pause again if you need to, and make sure that all of your notes match mine. Once you've checked that, we need to add our next note. After adding this orangish yellow, you're gonna go over one column, you're gonna go up. Here's our thick line, here's our teal. We need our blue again. And now, just like the last time we have found our high note and we skipped two, we're gonna, we found our high note, we're going to skip two. We're gonna go back down and add another one of our orangish yellow. And again, if it all sounds correct, it will sound like this. We are almost there. Go ahead and check those notes. Make sure everything is correct before we get to the last section of the song. Once everything looks correct on your Chrome Song Maker, we're gonna go from our last orangish yellow. We're gonna go over two. We are now in the gray section. We're gonna go all the way down. We're gonna go to the fourth from the bottom. Teal, blue, purple, we want this magenta, fourth from the bottom. So go ahead and erase this the first, second, third. You want this color. By the way, if your squares look more rectangular like mine, just so you know, if you're writing this on an iPad or a smaller computer screen, your squares might look more square. Mine look rectangular just because I am on a widescreened computer. But either way, we have magenta. Go over one column, go up four. One, two, three, four. You want this yellow. It really would be up three from magenta. One, two, th one, two, three, four, over one. And then the next column, you're looking for a light green, just like that. So magenta, orange, yellow. Make sure that this orange does not look like this one that we used over here. It's actually one lower. Magenta, orange, light green. And then we're gonna go to the next column, jump up and find another magenta. From there, another orange, that one, and then another green. I'm gonna scooch mine over, and I'm gonna take mine up a little bit. If you need to pause to check on your notes, please do so. Now we will go thicker blue line, one, two, three, magenta, 
skip, skip, magenta, magenta, magenta. Now we're going to make a chord. We're going to have multiple colors in this column. The first one you need is a pinkish red. So here's where magenta would be. Let's go up one, two. We need to add another chord. We're going to add a yellow. So from your magenta, go up one, two, three, yellow. Again, magenta, one, two, three, yellow. Uh, here's our our purple color. Here's where we don't have anything in our chord. We're going to go down one, down two. Right above that thick blue line is our teal. Go down two more, you'll find a yellow. Go down one, two, three, just like that. Notice our chord is yellow, pinkish red, teal, yellow, pinkish red. Take a look at that. Check your notes if you need to. If everything looks correct, it will sound like this. We are almost done. And again, we will speed it up at the end. I'm keeping it under tempo now just so we can find our notes. So from our chord, which is up here, I'm going to scroll my screen down. I am going to have two skips, skip, skip. And now in this column, I'm going to go down below this line and I'm going to find a yellow. There it is, yellow another pinkish red, and all the way to the bottom are teal. We're going to put one more chord into this song. Ba -da -da -dum. West, west. Bum, 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 bum. There's four of them. So it's going to go your chord, bump, da 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 dum, at the end. If it's all correct, it will sound like this. I will pause it after this play and you guys can check your notes. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and check your ending with your magentas. Check your chord, make sure your chord has one, two, three, four, five notes in it. Also make sure that you don't have this orange in it. You want this yellow. I know some of these can look kind of similar, but you don't want those. And then again at the end, make sure after the chord you have two blank columns and then we're writing our chord at the end. Now that everything is written, I'm going to come down here. I'm going to change the tempo of the song. I'm going to make it be 200 even. Now, if you can't make it 200 just by moving this, if you tap your finger on your iPad or click this number with your mouse, you can manually enter 200. Now it will sound faster when I click play. And there it is. Now, I don't know about your experience playing Mario, but whenever my character beat a level, I didn't hear it on the marimba. You can change the instrument that you hear these notes with. You can make it be piano, strings, woodwind, or synth. Synth sounds the most like a video game to me. Here's how it would sound as a synth. It will loop. Again, if you want it faster, click this. But there it is, you guys. It matches the one you heard in the very beginning. This, again, is the Chrome Music Maker, and today we wrote the theme to Super Mario Brothers when your character beats a level. If you'd like to share this with me, you can click the Save button in the bottom right-hand corner. You can copy the link and you can send me the link either in the comments of this video or in the classroom where I am teaching this right now. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what songs you would like to see in a future Chrome Songmaker tutorial. But until then, happy writing.